This video will help you understand the different permissions given to files and directories in Ubuntu. In Linux, there are primarily two types of resources, files and directories, and there are three stakeholders present. They are user, group, and others. The person who created the file is considered the user or owner, and the set of people who like to access this file frequently is called group, and the remaining set of people forms the others category. There are mainly three permissions given in Linux. R stands for read, and it allows you to open the file. W stands for write, and allows you to edit the file. X stands for execute, and it allows you to execute the program present in the file or directory. If none of the three permissions are assigned, then deny will be the default permission for that file or directory. Dash stands for deny option. Permissions can also be set by octal method. Here, numerical values are used instead of symbols. R equals 4, W equals 2, and X equals 1. You can use the same permissions used for files in directories. R indicates that you can go to the directory and read the files. W indicates that you can create files in the folder. X indicates that you can use the ls command to list the files in the folder. Let's see how to check permissions for files and directories. To do that, let's create a simple file called demo file 10 using the command touch demo file 10. Touch is a command used to create zero byte file. When you use the command ls l and give the name demo file, you get the following result. The first dash indicates that it is a file, and this rw dash is a permission that is owned by the user or the creator of this file, whose name right now appears as root. Root has read and write permissions, and dash indicates no permission. So, you can read, edit, and write the content in the file. This second set of R and two dashes indicates that these permissions belong to a group. Group refers to people who like to use this particular file. So, we set permissions for them, and the permission is only to read. The last set refers to others who are not the members of this group or creators of this file. The default permission given to others is read only. This is how you can check file permissions for a file. Let's create a directory using the command mkdir and call it demodir. To check the permission, type in the command ls-ld. D indicates that it is a directory. Enter the file name demodir. You already know that hyphen indicates a file and D indicates a directory. The first set of rwx indicates the read, write, and execution permissions for the owner of this directory, who is a root. The group r-x indicates read and execute. People in this group other than the owner cannot create the file inside this. The next r-x is for others and is carrying the same permissions as a group. The first root is the owner name, and the second root is the group name. Suppose you want to check for other users, for example, ls minus l. We have user 100. Therefore, user 100 is the owner of this folder or directory. And the second user 100 is the group. Therefore, in Linux, the group is named after the owner of that folder or file. It is not compulsory and we can change the group name. For now, we will stick to the default behavior. These are all the permissions for this directory. Let's clear the screen. If you have a file name ls-l demo file 10 and you want to change the group permission to read and write, enter the command chmod g plus rw dash demo file 10. G stands for the group. Now, when you check the permissions, you can see that read-write permission is given to the group. To change permissions to others, you can repeat the same step. And if you want to change for all, use the character A. Now, the command is A plus RWX. Now, when we check for the permissions, 
you can see that everybody has got the same permissions. So, while changing the permissions, keep in mind that U stands for user, G stands for group, and O stands for others.